All right, it's already that time again. Time for my state of my motherfucking galaxy. <laughs> so, I guess the biggest news right out the gate is I am viciously close <laughs> to 10 million GP. It's right there. Uh, I don't know what I can do to like help speed run that or anything though. Kind of at a kind of stuck right now. So, that's unfortunate. But yeah, super close to finally hitting 10 million GP. So that's kind of cool. Um, what else? You know, something I was thinking about the other day is I always seem to forget stuff. And I think of it way after the fact, like characters that I might have starred up or something. So I'm like, I hope I don't forget anything this time around. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I guess to start, I have started working on my Gungans. I'm working on the Gungans for a couple of reasons. Where the heck are they? Um, one is because, well, for the Rise of the Empire raid, I figured they're the best squad for that. So, might as well get them beefed up so then I can increase my chances of doing better in that stupid raid. And two, I mean, there's also Jar Jar, who's like a legendary character. And I haven't really unlocked anything fun like this in a while. You know, I think the last thing might have been GL uh, Re uh, Leia. So, it'll be kind of cool to at least have that like oh look i'm unlocking jar jar so it's kind of like a twofer um i guess they're also a decent faction as well so that'll help with grand arena and what have you so you know a few reasons for it what i was working on was hey, hey, hey galactic republic i was trying to work on padawan obi-wan and qui-gon so as you see i'm at 54 out of 100 shards Oh, that didn't work the way I was hoping it would. But I'm at 54 out of 100 for him. I'm close. <sighs> and Qui-Gon, I mean, pff, there's not too much progress here. 27 out of 65. He's not even 5-star yet. But still, I was going to finish up with Obi-Wan and then go to Qui-Gon. The reason for them is because, well, A, they're also Naboo raid characters. So I figured that would help. A lot of my uh, Galactic Republic kind of suck. So it would be nice to have some good ones, but also there's their assault battle and their assault battle. They are ridiculous at so I'd really like to be able to uh, You know get them and Get those prizes. what did I say did I say uh, the ridiculous at their assault battle? I, uh, that's not what I meant I'm over here thinking about what I'm gonna say next and I'm kind of losing train of thought what I wanted to say was the prizes are ridiculous um, you can get some super good prizes, but it requires Relic 9 of both of them, which is very extreme. But still, so I gotta at least have them so I can Relic 9 them so I can do that event. <laughs> but I guess they're kind of on the back burner for now because I'm working on my Gungans. Anyhow, third sister, Reva, she's Relic 7 now. I don't know what she was last month, so I'm just specifically calling it out. I don't plan on stopping here. Um, <coughs> I do want to... I don't know. Probably get her to Relic 9. I'm sure she's worth it. Might as well, you know. And then she'll be my next one for Omicrons as well. So as you see, I don't have too much. 4 out of 20. So it's going to be a while, but I'll be working on her Omicrons next. I think they're Grand, uh, Grand Arena, so that's good. Um, Oh well, yeah, Newt Gunray. I got him up to Relic status. He's also Relic 2 by chance. But uh, yeah, Newt is a character I've never cared about. But again, this stupid raid. So... I've worked on him, so now he's up there. Um, in 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 the meantime, in between time, whatever you want to say, I am working on my Geonosians. So I've got Geonosian Spy up to Relic 5. I think I just did this yesterday, so this is like a relatively new Relic status for him. <coughs> I just noticed his hand is weird. He's not holding it properly. His thumb is going over the top. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think I got Sith Assassin up to Relic status this month, too. Was it this month or last month? I don't remember. Sometime recently, though. What else have I done around here? Is this really it up here? Tarful. Yeah, I think I started working on Tarful this month as well. So Tarful is actually a, a requirement for Cal Kestis. And I figured out, he's another one. I might as well try to go after him. His requirements really are only gear 12. Um... So I figured it's sort of easy and I could get another uh, legendary character. The only reason I don't have more progress than just Tarful, because, you know, there's Seer Jundai I got to work on. There's the other Cal I got to work on. And there's, I don't know, someone else, um, Saw Gerrera. But it's because 
<coughs> oh man, I jumped over to my Gungans. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Ooh, I noticed somebody's artwork got updated. Two, two characters' artworks I noticed got casually updated. CG is so weird with their casual um, artwork updates. So was it Ray? No, she still looks goofy there, but I, I think it's Ray. Ray Scavenger. Unless she's always looked like that, but I just noticed it the other day, and I was like, why does she look way different than I remember? And I... Th <coughs> oh, come on. And I think Anakin... Um, yeah, he's got a different sprite altogether. Like, he wasn't like this before, was he? <laughs> he's just looking way different. I mean, who knows? Maybe I never noticed, but pretty sure that this is updated. Maybe there was, maybe, there was somebody else. I swear there was. Maybe that's what it was. It wasn't Ray's thumbnail. It was actually, she looked the same though when I looked at her. I don't know. I thought there was one other one that I noticed was, and I was like, what the heck is this? Um, where is he? Oh yeah, Malgus. I got him his last Omicron, so he's all Omicroned up, but it's kind of kind of pointless because he's only relic three and uh where are they sith empire you know they're not the juiciest squad here so <sighs> having him all omicron like that is semi a waste for now <laughs> it'll be good in, in, in the long run when i get everything beefed up but for now eh. as far as i was dang coughing you know i don't want to like jump off my video and address the coughing but it's just dry. <coughs> you know, it's winter now, and my throat is just dry. It's ridiculous. <sighs> and, like, it doesn't matter what I do. I'm talking, but then when I try to breathe, it's like oh, dry air coming in. Ooh, time to make you cough. It's very annoying and very difficult when you're trying to make a video. Anyhow. um, Oh, yeah. I knew there was something big. I finally got Captain Drogon up to Relic 8. Um, I, It's something I've had... An, on my to-do to-do list for a while and just hasn't happened but finally did now <laughs> it's probably actually just happened a couple days ago so it's kind of new i think geonosis now for brute i got to relic seven this month as well back to what i was saying earlier about how i'm trying to work on my geos get them beefed up so he made it to seven the first one which to me made the most sense to do because he's the leader Um, I also think this month I got Wicket to Relic 8, and Wicket going to Relic 8 kind of frustrated me, because my guild does this thing, I'll try to show you, whoops, this isn't it, they do this thing where we, uh, have bounties that we, where the heck is it, where's the chat? Okay, the chat's not showing for some reason, so, that's cool, well, anyways, in the chat we have a category, that um it's about it's bounties and basically the officers or the leader sets a bounty and whoever fulfills that bounty first or sometimes there's a couple of them like one month we had four bounties so whoever can get those satisfied <coughs> will get a reward this video is gonna suck all this damn coughing but there's really no other time for me to do it and it's winter it's gonna be dry until summer comes back it's ridiculous though anyway so those bounties one month i actually got two that was the month that i did uh jedi consular and whatever the other one was i forgot now but i got two bounties that month but anyways this month wicket was the bounty they asked me to get wicket up i did it i never got the bounty they ripped me off kind of made me mad but i was like well i guess i can't really say anything because i did get two last month but still like that's why i did it for the dang bounty so anyways, that's why he's Relic 8. Not because I love Wicket and think he really needs to be Relic 8. I was trying to get a prize. Oh yeah, that's the one. Jedi Consular and Jedi I mean, I'm Veteran Smuggler Chewy. They're actually right next to each other. Anyways, um, anything else cool happen around here? I've been working on Dark Troopers mods, I think. Yeah, <laughs> they're up to blue status. Figure he's kind of worth it. He's pretty good. You know, he hits pretty hard. He's kind of durable, just because he has like a a uh, reduced version of B one's ability. Um, what else? 
man, I see a lot of guys down here that have been like Relic 7 forever, and it's just like, wow, you're way down here. Like, I'm looking at Kylo. Kylo got the Relic 7 years ago. <laughs> Literally. And then I also see a lot of characters that I want to work on further, like Nihilus, Treya, Padme. Ugh. So much work in this stupid game. Um, anyways. I mean, at this point, that's probably about it. I don't think there's anybody else that's really been worked on that's way down here. So... Let's just try to think of who got start up or something. Um... Did I have a conquest unlocked this month? I don't think so. Hmm. Let's see... Cal Kestis, he is seven stars? Oh, yeah, that's right, because I started farming from, like, super hardcore. Yeah, it's actually ironic, because I started farming from, like, using my crystals and everything and was going hard on getting him a seven star. That way, then he'd be available for me to work on to get him ready for, you know, Jedi Knight Cal Kestis. And now it's almost like it was a waste, because now it's on the back burner, and now I'm working on Gungans. The irony, you know? Cal's kind of useless, though. He doesn't have any synergy. It's light side support, unaligned force user. Like, that's it? Ugh. You're a Jedi without being a Jedi. That's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, he might have gotten to 7 star this month, then. <laughs> uh, what else? I already talked about Padwan Obi-Wan, how I'm trying to get him beefier. Um, I'm trying to work on Gungan Phalix. He's getting there. He's th uh, 24 out of 100. Tarples has quite a ways to go. He's only zero. He's zero out of 85. I just got him, obviously, start up. The reason he doesn't have too much progress, though, is because he is a uh, Cantina Energy um, node. And Cantina Energy is a great spot to have character drops. But that's also where Relic Materials are. So I'm trying to farm Relic Materials, too. And they're way more important than characters. So, yeah. Captain Tarples is just kind of falling behind. He, he, I mean, obviously he has to get there because I need to have him so I can unlock Jar Jar, but for now. Anyways, um, any new unlocks? Anyway, we got Merrick this month. I think we got Shinadi this month. Shinadi. <laughs> Marok right here. Semi cool looking uh, Inquisitor. He kind of actually looks like Kamir or whatever the heck that guy's name was from Acolyte. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. Nobody else got start up or anything. I don't know. Another cool thing that should be happening super soon because we're in the middle of a conquest right now is I will be unlocking Admiral Trench. I mean, he's just going to be another conquest character that I don't really work on, but still, this is funny. He only has four moves. I never realized that. And usually they have three Omicrons. Does he have? Yeah. So he almost has one Omicron per move. It's kind of goofy. So, yeah, I'm not going to work on him, but it'll be still cool to have him. <coughs> um, and Balin Skull. He was just added to the game, finally. I mean, his kit reveal just came out the other day. Today is Wednesday, and I'm making this video. I think his kit reveal came out, what, a day ago? Two days ago? Tuesday or Wednesday it came out. So, but yeah, he's finally here. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for characters. Oh, yeah, Jedi Knight Cal. This is who I was originally going to be working on, but not quite there. I still have a whole bunch of other characters to beef up, and I'm trying to work on Gungans, like I keep saying. That feels a little bit dry. I thought I had more. I don't know. As far as ships go, oh, yeah, that's one thing about ships. I don't think anything really happened other than, where is it? Punishing one. This ship really does make a huge difference. It's only three stars, and it's, like, super viable. I have it in my main squad, and I'm actually doing better than I ever have in squad arena. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh, also, another thing is Executor taking absolutely forever, but I'm at 80 out of 100. Jeez. We're finally almost there on seven starring this thing. How long has it been? When did I unlock this ship? Like a year and a half, two years ago, and it's finally almost seven star. Ugh, it's been such a long grind. Anyways, though, as I was saying, 
my status in Fleet Arena. Uh, 42? Yeah, it, it's usually in the 30s. Four, I mean, 42 is not bad either, considering I have a three star ship on my roster. <laughs> but still. Uh, yeah, now I wish I had something that I could do to uh, get my 10 million here on the video, but. I don't know what to do. I don't want to just randomly work on some character just to work on somebody just to be like, hey, look, 10 million. But I really want to hit that 10 million. Hmm. I think this stuff requires you, yeah, to be seven stars. So even if I had it, I can't lay it down. Well, who do we got? Who could I work on? Seer Junda? She's at least got a leader ability. Uh, then again, the other one has a leader ability too, but she's a little bit better because she works with online force users. Sagarera, he works with only rebels or something. Anyways, I could work on her. I could just stick with my Gungans and work on Phalanx. She's the next closest to seven stars. Still got a ways to go, but it would be the next closest. And obviously, it's somebody I'm going to need to work on eventually. Uh, or, I don't know. I mean, I have been wanting to do Sierra Junda in a while. For a while, I mean. So I could just do her. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> but then that's another character. I got to get to Relic status and all this. I don't know. Let's just do it. Whatever. Let's get that 10 million. Okay, that's taking too long, and there it is. Boom. 10 million, 181 a thousand. All right, so I'm not going to be for all up and all that right now, but I will end it here. So I guess that's all. Thanks for checking this out, and until next time, I said see ya. Thank <laughs> you.